Now, religious texts were never intended to be read by the masses. Hmm. I'll explain it again. Written I don't by. think I wrote this, but I'll explain it again. The Old Testament is in Hebrew. The New yeah. Testament is in Greek. Greek. Yeah. But the Catholic Church One. teaches from the Vulgate the Latin translation from St. Jerome. Right, right. Uh, Latin. And, uh-huh. and Mass how, was in your lifetime still in Latin? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they, I remember when they switched it over to English. Yeah. And I remember the joke of the ladies saying I liked it better when it was in Latin. I didn't know what they were talking about. <laughs> That's to pay attention. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm sorry I'm buddy. Oh. In the ancient world, a person would have to become initiated into the occult mystery school in order to obtain access to such text. The potential students had to demonstrate themselves to be wise, to be good in character, and above all, to seek the truth. Only then would they be taken under the wing of a master or teacher. The reason for this was due to the masses taking the text literally. (laughs) That sounds familiar. (laughs) And not esoterically as was the intention of the teachings. The wise would construct physical symbols for the purposes of teaching, and the masses would pervert those symbols into idols and worship those structures as actual deities. The wise would send teachers to instruct the masses directly, but the masses would later end up making those teachers into deities as well, worshiping them as man-gods. Well, when the masses finally did obtain religious texts, they would abuse them to wage war to control populations, to perform human sacrifices, and to ultimately subvert the innate spiritual nature of mankind. <sighs> yeah, imagine mm-hmm. that. Not much has changed, as can be seen from the current state of religion today, with all of its different competing sects and faiths, its literalists, its exclusivity, and its fear-mongering. The church actually discouraged the populace with threats from reading the Bible on their own, a policy that intensified through the Middle Ages and later, with the addition of prohibition forbidding translation of the Bible into native languages. William Tinsdale, in 1536, was burned at the stake for translating the Bible into English. According to Tinsdale, the church forbid owning or reading the Bible to control and restrict the teachings, and to enhance their own power and importance. For Proverbs 9.10 says the fear of Yahweh is the beginning of wisdom, and fear is a powerful tool for controlling people. And fear is my point today. In religious communities, fear is often used to scare people into behaving a certain way. Fear-mongering as a tactic used to scare people into submission or agreement. For most of its history, Christianity has been an often violent and often oppressive ideology. Think crusades, torture, burnings of the stake, the enslavement of women to constantly repeated childbirth and undivorceable husbands, the use of fear of hell's torments as an instrument of control. And since the dawn of time, fear has been used. Aesop's fables warn the fates of those who were lazy. The sayings and maxims of Confucius and Ben Franklin Contrast the prosperity of those who do right with the poverty of those who do wrong. Parents tell young children not to do this or that because it'll hurt them, or not to have those friends because they'll lead them into no good. Teachers tell Johnny that if he can't read, he can't work, and if he can't work, then he can't have the stuff he wants and the life he wants. So fear sells. Fear should never, ever be used to manipulate. If someone needs fear to sell you their ideas, if their whole message is built on making you fearful, if their only call to action requires scaring you into following, well then, something's wrong. Fear should never be our main motivation. Fear should never be our inspiration. Fear should never be our sole reason for doing something. If it is, we're missing the point concerning the love Jesus spoke about. We're supposed to be known by our love, not our fear. And any people marked by fearful, anxious living are a people taught by Jesus. And if you have to be scared into believing your religion, well then, wouldn't you say something's definitely wrong? How long did it take you to figure it out? (laughs) (laughs) Or the cat. (laughs) Yeah, have a great day.